In this video, I'm gonna show how to increase speed of your player over time using visual scripting. Currently, the player is moving at the constant speed and we'll go into the script machine right here. And the movement is being controlled by the move unit that is available from my Spock package. The only thing that we're interested in here is changing the speed. So currently you can see that the speed is set to five. We'll begin by creating a variable. So let's just say speed, click add, and we'll use a vector three. In here, we'll put the default speed that we want of her game. So currently it is five in the X direction. So we'll keep that. Now we can use this speed variable for our speed. To increase the speed over time, what we'll do is add an update event. And on each update, we want to add some value to the speed. That way the speed is gonna increase gradually. So let's get our current speed and add a vector three to it. Now for the second input, we want to pass a per second value of a vector three. So let's look for per second, vector three, and in here we can specify the speed increase per second. So if we want in a second for our speed go from five to six, then we put one here. So each second the speed is gonna increase by one. The per second unit makes all the calculation to consider the frame rate and all of that. Now, after we add the values together, we want to save the speed back to our variable. So let's drag it out, hold Alt down, and that'll give us set variable unit. One more thing that you probably want to add here as well is a max speed limit. For that, we can use the minimum unit, and this unit is gonna output the smaller value of the values that we pass in. So here, let's do a vector three literal, and in here, we can specify the maximum speed of our character. So let's set the maximum speed to be 20 and pass that value for our speed. And this is it. This is what's gonna be increasing the speed of our player. Let's close the graph and try it out. So we start with speed of five, and you can see that the speed of the cube is slowly increasing. As soon as it reaches the speed of 20, we can see that the speed is no longer increasing. Hopefully you found this video useful. Click on the like button and I'll see you in the next one.